And I had a j joke to go with this, and I've forgotten it. I, I'm so sorry, I'm getting like the woman in that joke about, um, have you heard this joke about the woman driving with her mother? And the mother is elderly, and the mother goes right through a red light, and the daughter doesn't want to say anything. She, she doesn't want to be like, you're too old to drive. And then the mother goes through a second red light, and the daughter says, um, as tactfully as possible, Mom, are you aware that you just went through two red lights? And the mother says, oh, am I driving? <laughs> shock of recognition at the shock of recognition that completes the quadruple and um, I just want to say two more things one is another another characteristic of trickster is that uh, the trickster has to walk this fine line he has to he has to have poise and and, and you know the, the the biggest hurdle for me in doing what I do is constructing my performance so that it's prepared and unprepared, uh, finding the balance between those things, and always dangerous because you might tip off too much in the direction of unprepared, and, but, oh, but being too prepared doesn't leave room for the accidents to happen. And um, I was thinking about what um, Moishe Safdie said yesterday about beauty, because in his book, Hyde says that Sometimes trickster can tip over into beauty, but to do that, you have to uh, lose all the other qualities because once you're into beauty, you're into a finished thing. You're into something that occupies space and inhabits time. It's an actual thing. And um, it is always extraordinary to see a thing of beauty, but if you don't do that, if you allow for the accident to keep on happening, you have the possibility of getting on a wavelength. You know, with your, I, I, like, I like to think of it, of what I do is, you know, a, as a probability wave. Uh, when you go into beauty, the probability wave collapses into one possibility, and I like to explore all the possibilities and the hope that you'll be on the wavelength of your audience. And the one final quality I want to say about Trickster is that he doesn't have a home. He's always on the road. And uh, I want to say to you, Richard, in closing, that uh, in TED you've created a home. And thank you for inviting me into it. Thank you very much.